I like to leverage, leverage is like my favorite word. I like to leverage every minute of every day. I can be attracting abundance and prosperity while I'm driving the car because I'm thinking about something positive. Your sales are not really made in the conversation. Your sales are made every minute of every day and how you've been conducting your own mind state. And it's those little conversations that happen in secret that come to pass. And we start to see it in our circumstances and conditions. So it's not just enough to look good and put on a great performance. You've got to be on that all the time. Just like in fitness, it wasn't just those 60 seconds that you stood on stage and posed. It was all of the moments when you didn't want to go to the gym, when you didn't want to eat X, Y, Z, when other people outside of you were going out, you did something different. That takes a serious amount of mental stamina. And the mind, this is why I became so infatuated about it because my world started in fitness and then I started to realize we've got mental muscles and I didn't even know about them never mind exercise them so gratitude is an exercise and it is so simple and there's two ways I want you to do it number one I want you every morning before you do anything and that means before you flick your phone over okay because we're very very conditioned that when we open our eyes in the morning, we look at our notifications, we check our emails, we do something that is really not setting up your day, right? And what you really wanna do is get up every morning, put your coffee on, whatever you do, and then get a notebook and list things that you're grateful for. Like it's really not that difficult. Now, the way I teach gratitude is like driving a car, I'm big into cars. And if you wanna go into, we'll call this seventh gear, right? And you're stationary when you wake up in the morning, okay? Momentum is a huge asset when you talk about energy, especially with sales. You wanna ride on the momentum of sales and they just keep coming. You know what it's like when you haven't had a sale in a long time and it's like, oh, come on. And it's the same, you haven't been to the gym in a while, it's hard to get back. But if you can keep the momentum going, it'll multiply. So I think of yourself, when you wake up in the morning, you're in neutral position. Now, if we were to get out and push that car, it takes way more effort at the beginning, but as soon as the wheels start to get some traction, you could push the car, maybe with just your hand, right? So these things that I'm asking you to do, you're not gonna jump out of bed tomorrow morning and really wanna do it, okay? But you've gotta be consistent at doing it. And what you wanna do is write just five things, you can do 10, five, doesn't matter, five to 10 things that you're grateful for in the now moment. And what I mean by the now is your cup of coffee, your wife, your husband, your kids, your job, your bed, the air, food, whatever holiday you're going on. It's something that is now, okay? And the reason that that is important is let's say I'm grateful for this glass of water. Well, it's really easy for me to be grateful for the water because it's there, it's tangible. Now, when it comes to goal creation, which we're gonna talk about, you're going after goals that you've never done before. So it's, it's a bit hard to imagine. When I was sitting down here wanting to be up here, I had no concept of what it would be like to earn that type of money or live that type of lifestyle. I was driving a Seat Leon, and my dream car was a Ferrari Spider 488. So I just couldn't even imagine what it would be like to drive a Ferrari when I'm in a Seat Leon. And yet it was the best day when I got to drive into Ferrari to pick up my Spider in my Seat Leon. <laughs> I mean, they kind of thought like, you're in the wrong place. 
And the only way that I was able to attract that was because I first decided I wanted it. Now, when it comes to gratitude, you can use gratitude not only to make you feel good in the here and the now and align your mind to a positive vibration, but you can also then list five or 10 things that you would love in the future that haven't quite happened yet. And the reason that you do that is because, remember what I told you earlier, your subconscious mind has no idea. My subconscious mind had no idea I was driving a Seat Leon. And when I used to drive around Belfast, I used to pretend I was in a Ferrari. Now, so many people can laugh at that and go, you are nuts, but you know what? I drive a Ferrari, <laughs> so I don't care. And that's me just being totally open and honest. I don't drive a Ferrari because oh, I drive a Ferrari or I want to feel good or I want to be happy. It was always my dream because my dad always wanted a Ferrari and he never got one because he never earned enough money. And everywhere we went, he had a Ferrari book and a Ferrari tall and a Ferrari this, a Ferrari that. And I just, I wanted one so badly, more for my dad. And I think, and we'll talk about this later, when you back your goals around love, then you're winning. And you see these levels that I've been talking about? You can call them frequency waves. You can call them levels of operation, like you're all operating on one of these levels. Now, by the way, there's an infinite amount. There's not just five, okay? There's an infinite amount going that way and an infinite amount going that way because there's no beginning and there's no end. Like, what's the biggest number in the world? Nobody knows. It goes that way, it goes that way, in an infinite amount, which means you can keep going in one or two directions, but you're either creating or you're disintegrating. And these levels, I also call them levels of vibrational energy. And that also spells out, if I write it up, levels of vibrational energy, love. Anyone that achieves greatness in their life and keeps it and is happy is because they have went after something not to get but to grow and it's been usually backed by a burning desire and love. You think of the things that you've, even when you met your husband or wife or partner, like you used to stay up for nights and have no sleep because you were so in love and you still were chirpy and going to work. Now, if you stay up, you're, oh, so darn. Isn't it amazing what love does, right? So I think that's something you definitely want to remember. Now, when it comes to gratitude, you want to every day, before you look at anything, because if you open a notification at something negative, your mind is on that train. And that builds up momentum, just like the car. Whereas if I wake up and I'm stationary, your mind hasn't decided what frequency it's gonna work on today yet. It's your first thought that sets the frequency, okay? So if you get up and you're thinking, you stub your toe on the end of the bed and the kids aren't ready for school and you've spilt milk and everything's just like, Whoa! and then you hit the traffic and then the lights and just everything is annoying you and you get into work. You're gonna be operating down here. And then you go into work and you see things that have went on or emails that you have to address to. Your energy throughout the day just goes in a really negative way. Whereas if you got up that morning and you started it in a high vibration, vibration by the way just means energy, and by doing gratitude, by going, I'm so grateful for this and I'm so grateful for that you're starting here. Now life will still happen. You might still kick the end of the bed. You still might hit traffic. But if you come down a little bit, you're now coming into work with this energy level instead of way down here. So the reason that you do gratitude is to have peak performance and get out the gate every morning in an optimal state. I'm so grateful that you are here on our YouTube channel. Please make sure and subscribe, hit the notification bell and leave me a comment. Let me know what you love and we'll bring more incredible content to you soon.